Hurricanes, lightning, flooding, and tornadoes affect the entire state of Florida. And the team of meteorologists from the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network keep you informed around the clock. All year long, we are committed to providing in-depth weather coverage both over the radio and on the mobile app, Florida Storms. The Florida Public Radio Emergency Network is supported by this station and Citizens Property Insurance. Online at citizensfla.com. Support for WMNF comes from our members and AEG Presents. Casey Musgraves presents the Deeper Well World Tour. Casey Musgraves performs at Amelie Arena with special guests Lord Huron and Nickel Creek on Friday, November 29th. Learn more at CaseyMusgraves.com. Welcome to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. I'm your host, Ken Apperson. We are here in studio with Permilla all the way from Niagara Falls. How y'all doing? We're doing great. Good. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you tired? Is it a long drive? A little tired, but excited, mostly. They're yeah. still ready to rock, and they're going to do that for us right now. What's your first song called? Maddie. All right. Take it away.
tastes the kind of funny I open up the window Try to let a little light in Cover your face Cause you don't want it on your thick skin All the same here on Live Music Showcase. Uh, I'm digging the sound. I'm Thank digging you. it. Thanks, man. Y'all Thank sound you. great. Thank you. Uh, let's go around real quick, get to know everyone, you know, go around, introduce yourselves to the lovely listening audience. Where, where should I look right now when I uh, do You this? can look right into that camera here, Lisa, oh. here in camera three. Right there. Yeah, right there. Mm-hmm. I am Nicole. That's Nicole, That everyone. is me. <laughs> <laughs> I am Miles. That, that is, is you. Me. All right. I'm Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's the only human in the band. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, so all the way from uh, Niagara Falls. Yeah. Right. And you have uh, you have management from Toronto, right? Yes. Is that correct? I have a, all the, everything correct. straight so far. Why the heck are you in Florida, of all places? <laughs> Isn't this where we're supposed to be? I think so. <laughs> yeah. In the cosmic meta sense of the, the term, sure. Yeah. Um, one of our managers had like a friend who's in the Tampa area who is like a big promoter and does a lot of shows and stuff and knows the community. So he showed him our stuff and he was like, you guys should come down here. So we were yeah. like, okay. And you were <laughs> like, yeah, we'll just hop in the car. We'll just, it's we'll a just quick drive. Just on down. Yeah. 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 It's real nice. Did uh, did the uh, did the drive provide any uh, adventure for you? Was <laughs> it was it eventful? Oh, the tacos, dude. Oh, the t- <sighs> the tacos. I'm having a good day. I don't want to relive it. It's uh, is this a is this a smell related event? No. no. no okay. It's just no. sad. Oh, yeah. It's just sad, man. Don't go to West Virginia. West Virginia, I love you. Don't go to West Virginia if you want Mexican food. Apparently. Okay. We thought that's a good thing to do. Yeah. Let's yeah. get Mexican food. Yeah. What could go wrong? No, a, a lot of things, apparently. What did go wrong? What are we talking about? What yeah. happened? Like, we took one bite and we were all like, this, is a, this, this is a bad day. 
uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Nothing happened oh, after. No, but it's we're not, still it's talking not a about gross it. Story. Okay. It was just so disappointing because we've been driving for so long and yeah. we really wanted some some good Mexican food and it just didn't. Yeah. It's I guess it's our fault, really, because. Yeah. Yep. We didn't have to go there. I bet you West Virginia has great Mexican food. Probably. Mm-hmm. But we didn't go to yeah. the place that it. has the good <laughs> yeah. stuff. Check out Pramila's new show on the Food Network. <laughs> uh, West Virginia Food Critic. <laughs> Diners, drive-ins, and blues. Yeah. <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Where's Guy Fieri? Fieri. Fieri? Fieri. Both. It's both. Something. It's one of oh. those. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I mean, I, I love the sound. I, I love uh, anytime we have a band. We have a couple of bands that are that are in the area here that uh, that that you know are, are are kind of pulling influence from from a classic sound. I hear, I hear some classic sounds in here. I hear a little Zeppelin. I hear a little maybe Joan Jett in there a little bit. You've got a voice that is much bigger than your stature. If you don't mind me, if you can't so. tell, I'm actually six two. Yeah, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. six three on a good day. Yeah, but it just this is a really big guitar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe and I are actually giants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Both of us are like eight feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they all use very tiny little mugs for their coffee. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. That's good. I like it. Uh, and they stick their pinkies water. out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So so you're doing the show tomorrow. Uh, Armature Works, I think is what it is. Yeah. Right? Blues and Brews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you're, you're opening for, uh, who's, the, who's the headliner? Do you know who the headliner is? I think it might be us. I think you think it might be you. I think it's Jose. I don't. Ramirez, I don't know. If I'm not Who is mistaken. it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jose oh, okay. Ramirez. All right. Yeah. There we go. He's a friend of the show. It's the only reason. Oh, sweet. I know. oh right on. Well, now he's a friend of he's ours. A, sorry, Jose. Killer, killer musician. Killer musician. You'll love him. And then uh, Sean Kyle, I think, is uh, is opening the whole thing, and cool. he's also good old, good old buddy of the show here. Uh, so, but, I mean, we'll dive into a, a few other things here, I think, but I think we want to get back to the music, if you don't mind. Sure. What's the next cool. song called? It's called Do You Want to Love Me? You sure. don't have to answer. That's just what it's called. I'll, can, I'll think about it. Okay. Depends on how good the song is. That's fine. <laughs>
Live Music Showcase. Uh, yeah, sure. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm just kidding. My girlfriend's actually watching right now. Hi. She's going to be mad. I'm just kidding. She's not. She's fine. She's a very good sport. She actually commented. She said, uh, you brought the cold weather with you, which oh, we sorry. love. No, 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 no. We love it. Oh, no, no, good. No. We're loving it. Wait, the temperature is quite nice here. Yeah. Florida is usually like the surface of the sun yeah. uh, most of the year, frankly. Uh, yeah, only in the past like two days did it like we got a nice little cold front. Um, she also said uh, you got to stop in Pennsylvania for some good cold cuts and custard. Oh, oh okay, those are things. Yeah, custard and cold cuts. Yeah, together. What, what a come? Yeah, yeah. You actually you at take, the same time. Yeah, they they uh, spaghettify the cold cuts yeah. and well, then I they, love spaghetti and they mix them into the custard. Yeah, I'm down. America is a beautiful place. Yeah, it's, it's something. Great. It's great here. It's something. Right. I like it. No, it's in the dictionary. Do you have yeah. it on? Do you have Webster's dictionary on you? It's in there. It is. Uh, a yeah. quick little nerd fact. Uh, <laughs> spaghettification is apparently what uh, physicists suspect happens to a human body if it ever enters a black hole. Oh, Sweet. wow. Well, we atom by atom that. spaghettification. We were going to try that on the way home. <laughs> yeah. 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 Take a little detail. Make sure you stretch first. Okay. Yeah. We actually try to put one science fact in every set that we play, so yeah. actually that's one less we have to do. There wow. We We're set. Well, yeah. you're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, yeah, so if you're just joining us, uh, we're here in studio with Pramila here on Live Music Showcase. They are from the Great White North. Uh, now, this is a dumb American question, I think. <laughs> uh, Niagara Falls, Americans associate Niagara Falls with America. Mm-hmm. Niagara Falls is not actually in America. There's, right? There's two sides. There's two of them. It's like Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. Except one side's got a lot of Americans and the other side apologizes a little bit more frequently. It's true. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's the side we're on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. a lot of Americans so, come to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. Apology accepted. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, uh, what's the music scene like up there? It's actually really good. Yeah? Yeah. There's uh, uh, some... I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's a tourist town and we're playing cover gigs 365 days a year, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, you can get really good really fast because you're just playing, like, three to four hour gigs wow. all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, you don't have to, you don't get to play your own music all the time, but you sure. get, it's your education, basically. You get, you that's your school. No better teacher than experience. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's just a bunch of really great, like, solid, seasoned players there. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, I looked you guys up a little bit. One thing I couldn't really find is like an age range. And I'm going to be honest with you. You guys all look like you could be 18 or maybe like late 20s or I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. You're you're like Why don't ageless. you why don't, why don't you do guess what all of our ages are? Oh, let's are. do that game. game. That's yeah. better. That's not that's uncomfortable more for anyone. Well, that's uh, why we want to do it. Okay, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Uh Nicole, I'm going to say that you are 24. Whoa. That's really close. Yeah. You are 37. No. <laughs> no, that's closer. Uh, is, it thir- is it 25? You're 25. Right now I'm 25. You're right now you're 25. Mm-hmm. It's actually I'll her be- birthday on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So yeah. technically oh. I'm I'm getting out of there. Your pre-birthday. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm 26 now technically. Yeah, well, you know. You and I know I look it, so you don't have to say it. I don't. I, this is my point, though. Like, <laughs> you probably get carded in the in the venues that you try to play at, right? Yeah, I, I, I get ID'd. You get yeah. ID'd, yeah. Uh, okay, and then uh, I mean, Miles, you're similar, <laughs> uh, but you're you're not the same age. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are younger, right? Yeah, that's by correct. Two years. That's correct. So you're 23. Yep. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. All yeah. right, that's correct. And Joe in no, the drum I'm 30, booth. I'm 31. You're 31? Yeah. But I, I'll stick with 23. If maybe that's You're better. 31? Yeah. With that head of hair? Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, Miles in the drum booth. <laughs> I mean, uh, sorry, Joe. Joe in the drum booth uh, coming in in the clinch. Uh, and Joe, without being able to look at you at all right now, I'm going to say you are the elder in the band. Wow. I'm going to say that you are 32. Is it because of the hair? Yes. Of the hair. <laughs> He's 28. He's 28. 28. Yeah. Damn, He's going to cry himself to sleep tonight. <sighs> no, I was prepared for this. <laughs> well, here's the beauty of, of uh, losing your hair as someone who has heard about, about these sorts of things. No, uh, you've got good hair. Once It's great. You just can't see it. Yeah. Once you shave your head, 
you pretty much look the same until you're like 50. Yeah. There you go. As long exactly. as you stay in halfway. That's what Joe's been saying. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. And then you'll get to 50 and they'll go, wow, you look like you're uh, 45. <laughs> and, you, and you're happy with that. You'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. All right. Enough about that. I think let's dive into some more music. I want to talk about your songwriting process a little bit after this song, if okay. that's okay. Sure. Yeah. Can we do that? For sure. Yeah. All right. Great. Uh, and uh, coming up. The uh, AMA Ask Musicians Anything segment is coming up uh, here Uh-oh. after the song, too. So stick around. Do your worst. Pramila here on Live Music Showcase. This next one's going to be uh, the one about the kite. Do you know that one, Joe? The one about the kite? Yes, I do. All right, count it in. <laughs> Got to carry it in the past. 
Carmilla here on Live Music Showcase. Okay, I want to get to know your writing style a little bit. I want to understand it a little bit. And I also want to know, I want to know, Nicole, where you learned phrasing in your soloing. Because it is just, ooh. Thank you. Chef's kiss. <laughs> tasty, I appreciate that. Tasty. We'll get to it in a second. First of all, first and foremost, we're halfway through the show, which means that we are at the AMA the Ask Musicians Anything segment. It's your chance as the listener and as the viewer to call in or send an email with any questions or comments that you might have for Permilla, for Live Music Showcase, for me, for Mark, for WMNF, whatever. Make it weird. You know the rules. Weird is the rule. Mm-hmm. Weird. Call in 813-239-9663. Our, our board op, Charlie, will take your calls. He'll take your emails. He will distill them into verbal English, which they'll already be in probably, I don't know. I don't know if Charlie speaks any other languages. I'll ask him after the show. And he will send them to me, and and then at the end of the show, I will ask the band the questions that you send in. Cool. You can also, if you're watching the live stream, you can skip the line and just leave a comment, and uh, I'll probably read it, like, right away. As soon as you leave a comment right now, I'll probably read it right now literally right now if you leave a comment in the live stream I'll probably <laughs> that's read wild it right now uh yeah dennis says uh excellent thanks for being on the show thanks well, dennis i don't know who yeah. dennis is thanks sounds like the showrunner dennis. we love dennis yeah he's lovely we've got a bunch of comments in here let's see david bryant says what do your guests think about matt gates is it they don't know who he is. <laughs> That's the right answer, everyone. Thank okay. you for playing. Nice. Excellent. I love it. Uh, yeah. So I want to get to know your songwriting style a little bit. We'll get to the questions at the end of the show uh, from the uh, the listeners and the viewers. One, I mean, we're not going to... I'd love to just go into a dissertation of, like, your entire process. But the reality is we, we only have uh, 30 minutes. But how do you know when you've started writing something that it's good like how, like what's the moment where you're like ooh yeah this is this is the next one how do you know um so miles and i are the writers mm-hmm. and um typically it's a it's a melody and a chord progression that will get us and he'll send me something or i'll send him something and it'll be like oh yeah that's mm-hmm. a hook right mm-hmm. away um we used to be very riff rock based so before it was like if we had a good riff now it's more of a melodic mm. thing why the change? We're just growing up, I think. Yeah, that's that's the best way to put it. Maturing, yeah, as songwriters. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, it, it does have a very like the sound. It's it's mature, but it's not like it's not dusty. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like oh, it, it has you. a very nice modern. It has its place in twenty twenty four sound to it. It really does. Cool. Oh, it's thank very God. very nice. Thanks. In yeah. my humble opinion. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, so you're so for for people that are listening at home. I mean, in songwriting, there are some really simple principles that that songwriters often use to uh, you, kind of as a compass through the process of writing because it's so easy to kind of get bogged down in the in the details. One of those principles is the concept of tension and release right oh yeah you you create tension you do this a number of ways you do it through um you know creating a chaotic moment in a in a, in a song or or even like um you know just hitting a wrong note that's a common way of doing it in jazz it's a common way i do it too when i'm playing guitar <laughs> unintentionally but the the you create a little tension and then you create release by then creating a nice sound you know you follow a bad note with a good note you follow a ugly chord with a pretty chord and and it makes the contrast makes that resolution absolutely and another way is through space and i hear a lot of space in the way that you guys write 
you're you're writing these beautiful complex you know uh chord progressions and, and and there's a lot of it there and it'd be really easy to just make the whole thing about like a really complex chord progression mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you don't you have the discipline to take it and go okay that's enough let's do something nice and simple not rudimentary not pedantic uh but just really uh tasteful tasteful is the word that's a big thing that I don't want to say like we weren't good before. We were just you can say that. We it's were okay. just younger <laughs> writers yeah. before. Yeah. And one of the big things that we used to do was get a little too muso, mm. um, a little too often. Mm -hmm. Like live, we can do whatever. We're mm. like the versions that you're hearing of these songs are a little different. Mm -hmm. um, but on a recording, for the sake of it being more digestible we've done what you're saying, which is making it a little more simple, not going so out of left field. We used to do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think whether you like it or not, every musician could admit they want people to like their songs. Oh yeah. And as, as much as you can be that guy that's like, I don't care. I'm just writing for me. At the end of the day, if I was honest with myself, that isn't the truth. You're never writing for yourself. Yeah. And you're always thinking to yourself, are people going to like this? Mm -hmm. And so... I think just maturing through songwriting is just understanding what people do like and what people, you know, not everybody's a musician that knows, understands jazz. So like we don't. could still have a lot of fun not doing that, you know, we yeah. could still have a lot of fun not going seven, eight time for everything, which we used to do. <laughs> <laughs> and by okay. the way, we should bring it back. Yeah, we should hey, bring it back. You know really what? Should. A bridge is a great place to put a 7-8 weird... That's true. Weird... How about 9-8? <laughs> yeah, we like 9-8 too. 9-8 is good. 9-8 is good. Just, uh, I mean, Soundgarden. Yeah, 9-8 yeah. is easier than 7-8, yeah. says Mark. I mean, if you can groove it, you can do it. That's the rule. Uh, yeah, and I mean... I think the misconception is that those two ideas between writing for yourself and writing for your audience have to be a, dichot a dichotomy. Mm -hmm. They don't. No. They're not mutually exclusive. You can write for yourself and write for an audience. Mm -hmm. If you have a message that you want to be heard, if you have a message that you think is important, then it makes sense to write it in a way that is digestible by the largest number of people possible so that that message gets out there. Mm -hmm. That's the magic of it. I think that's beautiful. I think that yeah. if there was a formula for finding your sound, it would be the middle ground between writing for yourself and writing for other people. For sure. Mm -hmm. That would be the mm -hmm. equation. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. then you're not soulless. It's hard to find your sound, by the way. It's hard. Really hard. hard we are on a continuous journey. Yeah, we still. Have I was going to say, I don't think that journey's ever ended. No, no. I think yeah. it's. A, I think it's an evolution. Mm -hmm. I think you keep evolving. I think mm -hmm. that's good. Okay, so Pramila, if you're just joining us here on Live Music Showcase, uh, they just shared uh, some wonderful insight about their their writing process a little bit. Uh, they are performing at Blues and Brews tomorrow at Armature Works here in Tampa. And they're going to play a little bit more music for us, if that's okay. Can we yeah. hear a little bit more? Yeah, we're going to get a little a little chill, have a little chill, soulful ballad moment right love now, it. if that's okay. Do it. I love it. I love ballads. Cool. Take it away. Not that one. <laughs> we could do that one if you want. We're going to do it after. We're still going to do it, Joe. All right. Are you... Are you sad that we're not doing it right now? Yep, just lucky I didn't start it. <laughs> I got your picture on my door. It don't matter anymore I shine a light across your face But I know that it ain't my place Well, I got half a mind to let you know I got half a mind to let you be But nobody loves anybody like you And nobody loves anybody like you Take it easy, friend Oh, baby, won't you take it easy 
friend yeah. I've got your patience on my mind And I know it ain't easy to find Take it easy, baby You know that I've been trying to tell you something for a while now Oh, I've been trying to get to talking to you now Oh, I just might I think I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah I'm, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah I'm gonna tell you right now, oh yeah chills over here man nice Pramila, live music showcase uh yeah so nicole i owe you an apology because i'm over here thinking about your voice and and you've got this this beautiful female voice and this presence and everything and i'm not doing what i would do if a guy was standing in front of me playing that guitar which is who do you listen to to play guitar like that lots of people good Um, god my favorite guitar player of all time is Jimmy Page. Yep. You'll hear that later. <laughs> okay. Not really thus far, I don't think. Okay. Obviously, I like a lot of the blues guys. Yeah. You know, like I grew up listening. I, I love all of the B.B. King and Albert King and stuff like that. Obviously, I like Hendrix. Um, all the all the, the classic guys who can do a little bit of blues, a little bit of rock, a little bit of soul. I try, yeah. to, I try to do it, but I'm just a... Just a, sm- a wee a wee lass. You're killing it. <laughs> You're not trying to do anything. You're absolutely crushing. Well, it. thank I you. Mean, I appreciate it. Uh, man, and, and I mean, 
for the for the audience too, it is not an easy thing to come on to a radio show live and hit every note right. It's not and, an easy and thing I'm to not. do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. Well, you know the old adage, you know, in music, like the 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 the, the goal isn't perfection; it's just to make the errors so small that yeah, for you're sure. the only one who notices. For sure, yeah. which I would say you've accomplished that well, truly. That's good. Just stunning playing. I mean, I, as a Fender lover myself, oh, there you go. Um, just unbelievable. Okay, all right, enough gushing. Uh, what was the first moment, if you can remember it, in your life? where you wanted to pick up a guitar and play like that? When I was approximately five or six. Because okay. that's when I started. Okay. Joe was playing drums. He's my brother. Mm-hmm. I was going to get to that fact, too. And I was kind of beaten on the drums. Okay. But I thought guitar was more fun. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. And I was listening. We were listening to stuff that our dad was playing for us, like Zeppelin and just classic rock. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that seems really cool and really fun. I want to do that. So, and that was it. Mm-hmm. So you were five and you started playing when you were five? I started playing the year after that. The year after. Yeah. I, I did a summer of soccer. Uh-huh. Yep. Sure. I didn't, I, that didn't go well. I would just walk off the field and go get a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> so I think my parents were like, maybe she'll be an athlete. And then after a month they were like, nah. <laughs> I, like, I like how hard Joe is laughing at that. Because it's true. Because Joe was wicked. I was going to say. Joe was both. He, he was, could like slay the drums and yeah. do every, he was like soccer, ball hockey, like, and he slayed it. I can just do the one thing. <laughs> what is ball hockey? Is that, Whoa. oh, is that Canadian? It might be a Canadian It's thing. hockey, but on really? like a rubber with surface with like oh. sneakers and, and stuff. Ball. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. in, in, in the U.S., ball hockey is... A very different thing. You have field hockey here, right? Yes, but but the the you guys can look it up on Urban Dictionary. It's a very totally oh. different thing entirely. Oh God! Yeah. Did, oh. Did, did, mm -hmm. did, oh. oh, you're you're safe. You're safe. I'm, all right. I'm processing. You're safe. I'm just. I'm thinking just of so many things. Letting you know, right this now. is the beautiful innocence of Canadians here in That's America, great. and I love it. Thank you. Well, he was real good at it. I mean, <laughs> whatever it is, he was he was killing it. Whoa, it's getting warm it here. So Joe and Nicole are siblings. Joe uh, on drums, Nicole on on guitar and vocals. Uh, Joe, how was Nicole on the drive down here as a sibling? Wow. So <laughs> <laughs> we don't hate each other. No, of course not. We're no. professionals. But I do know that a band in a van or, or a car or whatever you guys took down here, for that amount of time and that amount of distance, friction can happen. It doesn't really with us. That's amazing. Nope. It was, uh, yeah, we, we always get along. Ever since we were young, we've always gotten along because we have, probably because we have music in common. Mm -hmm. And wow. we always, we've just been playing together. Since uh, I started when I was seven, I'm two years older. Yeah. So uh, what is that? I think we've been playing for a little over 20 years now. Mm-hmm. Wow. This would be my 20th anniversary, I suppose. Um, yeah, so we've been playing together for literally 20 years. So a lot of my, uh, I mean, you probably wouldn't be able to tell, but a lot of my playing is based off of uh, how she plays her guitar. And vice versa. And vice versa. No, yeah, there's a pocket for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, Miles, you know, with, with the bass just like, rounds that pocket out too. Yeah, he's yeah. our like... Honorary sibling. Yeah. Okay. He's a brother now. Okay. I like that. Yes. Nice. I've been waiting my whole life to hear him say that. <laughs> he just quietly to the first himself. Time. Like, yes. 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 Everyone heard us say it. It will never say now, it again. Now you can't take it back. Life no takesies backsies. Yeah, this has been enshrined forever in podcast and radio <laughs> form. Yeah. Speaking of which, by the way, if you're listening right now and you're just joining us, but you want to hear this entire episode and all of our other episodes, you can do that. You can listen to this show in podcast form on Apple Music or Spotify. Just search uh, Live Music Showcase and you'll find us. All right, so let's get into another song. We, I think we'll probably end up having enough song for two, enough room for two more. Yeah, we got to... Gotta, I like how you you asked earlier about the songwriting process and now yeah. you get to hear... Um, well, I, Miles wrote a couple of the ones, but this one that he came to me initially and it was such a good hook and melody, that's a good example to use. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. All right. Attention release, chord yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I was right. I love that. No. <laughs> so I'm kidding. Um, when uh, are, are we going to do, are we going to go do two straight into each other? Is that the plan here? Uh, we can stop. Well, I don't. Let's do that if, if that's want. okay. Or, yeah. If, you if that's stop, okay. We've got the AMA and everything like that. Sure, totally. So let's do that after this song here. If you're listening right now, we'll do the AMA, the Ask Musicians Anything questions after this song. So stick around. Yourself to me. I, I know. 
just cool. Just very, very cool. I love it. Permilla here on Live Music Showcase, if you're just joining us. Uh, we are nearing the end of the show. We're very, very close to the end of the show. Uh, I'm going I'm gonna to do some AMA questions. Uh, the band's going to play another song, and then the radio uh, is going to cut off that entire song. But don't worry. If you want to hear the entire song and some little hijinks that we might get into after that song, you can join us on the live stream right now, Facebook or YouTube. On Facebook, you can do WMNF's Live Music Showcase in the search bar. On YouTube, you can search WMNF Community Radio. You will find us either way. You can comment and talk to us either way. We've got lots of comments. Uh, I'll, I'll bring some of them up after the uh, after the last song here. But first, uh, credit where credit is due. Uh, this show doesn't happen without a team of passionate, dedicated volunteers that are here every week to make sure it looks and sounds as good as it does. Sound mixer, Mark Perfetti, audio assistant, Pam Robinson, video director, Ed Lehman, our camera operators are Lisa Reuter, Charles Holsoppel, and Marcy Connors. Our board op is Charlie Cushing, and I am your host, Ken Apperson. We are Live Music Showcase here every Friday at 2 p.m. This is Pramila. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having us. We Thank love you it. Very much. They're Thank playing you uh, tonight at Sky Beach Hotel over in St. Pete, 5 to 9, and then they are playing tomorrow at Armature Works for the Blues and Brews Festival. Tickets are online for that. I actually put a link in the comments of the live stream for tickets for uh, that event or the event page. I think there's tickets. I don't Thanks. know if it's if it's free or paid or what. I don't know. But uh, you can find all of that out in the link that I posted in the comments of the live stream. Uh, all right. So real quick, let's get to some AMA questions. Uh, John from Sarasota says... I uh, want to know if they have ever been to the... Oh, you know what? Nope, I can't say that one on the radio. We'll save that one for after uh, the show. Yikes. So now you really have a good reason to, to join the live stream. <laughs> I want to know. I'm on the edge of my seat. We'll find out. Okay, I'm curious to know if Miles... Oh, this is from uh, Harry Havery. <laughs> Harry Havery. <laughs> Havery. Okay, so we do know him. Oh, no. Because the question is, I'm curious to know if Miles is the guy I knew years ago who went by the stage name Lavere. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, I Levere. did. Yeah, yeah. About twelve years ago, I was in I was uh, in Florida. Okay. And uh, yeah, Le- actually, Levere was my birth name. Wow. Yeah, I changed it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Here's a comment from a, uh, a listener. New text message says, "Nice guitar tone, particularly the transition from relatively clean to overdrive, smooth." Mm. Oh, that's good, because I really just don't know what I'm doing. (laughs) (laughs) And then finally, we have a listener question here. I've been listening to the program for half an hour, and I still don't know the band's name. Carmela Parmela? Well, you got to listen. Host speaks it for people that already know the name. The name is Permilla. It's on my shirt. It's on her shirt. Miles is Permilla. Permilla is the band name. The band is called Permilla. I'm not the only one. She, we all had one. We, we all, all had a shirt. She <laughs> just likes to one. wear hers. Yeah. I love it. All right, so take us out with one more song. But again, if you're listening right now on the radio and you want to listen to this whole song and get into the thing I'm <laughs> going to ask them afterwards, WMNF Slide Music Showcase on Facebook, WMNF Community Radio on YouTube. Take it away. All right. It's a bit of a journey. <laughs> Down and it'll burn your feet well I never wanna be a sinner I just wanna take a one bite Maybe another This is WMNF Tampa